Good morning. My name is Zachary Fitzgerald. I am a junior at Care Parable Latin School. My name is Steiner Williams. I'm a sophomore at Care Parable Latin School. And we will be performing Mr. Dalliard Models, written by Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie. Enjoy. Good morning. I beg your pardon. I said good morning. <gasps> well, at last! What? After all these years! Sorry. A welcome, comrade, welcome! Sit down, rest your weary elbows. You'll take a glass of vodka? Oh, Mr. Dalliard, Mr. Dalliard! Break out the false passports and the rabbit skin hats! We are going to Moscow! <laughs> Moscow? Oh, what news? Comrade Stalin in rude help I trust? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not with you. All I said was good morning. Oh, precisely! The code. The code. <laughs> It is now 27 summers since Carmen Malinsky stood slightly to the left of where you are now, your other left. And he told me that one day a man would come into the shop and give notice of his allegiance with the phrase, Good morning. And that on hearing these words, Mr. Dalian and I were to detonate our relatives and fly to Dover. <laughs> fly to Dover? Uh, where Michael Smith would see us onto a goods train carrying livestock to Minsk. I'm sorry. What, when I said good morning, all I meant was good morning. Oh, I mean, <laughs> that's all I meant. Ah, well, in that case, please accept my green felt apologies. No, that's all right. I just came in here to buy a model. A model? Yes. A model? Yes. A model? <laughs> yes. A model? Yes, that's right. I want to buy a model. Ah, with or without plastic struts? Um, I'm not really sure. I thought a model, maybe a model airplane. Mm. Let me ask a different question in the same way. Who is this model for? It's for my son. Your son. Yes. Just your son? Yes, it's his birthday. Ah, and when is this birthday of his? Wednesday. Yes, that's what I said. When's the day? No. Wednesday. Are you stupid and just plain deaf? Wednesday. Oh, you genuinely are stupid. I'm sorry, I thought you were just plain deaf. <laughs> Mr. Dalia, I'm ground the earth to swallow me up. I, I do apologize. Life must be hard enough for stupid people without tactless old hobbies like that thing over there shoving salt in your face widely. Uh, Mr. Dalia, I've gone. Julia! <laughs> uh, so, in plain flavored English, when is your son's birthday? <laughs> oh, the day to Tuesday. Doctors are so specific these days, aren't they? <laughs> and are you expecting this boy to be a boy or a girl? It's my son. He's nine. He'll be his tenth birthday. Oh, his tenth? Well, sir, you're spoiling him. I was only ever allowed one. On my birthday, usually. Uh, no doubt, however, you know your own business best. Just don't come bleating to Mr. that Dalliot and I if this overindulged child of yours goes up to be one of those uh, drug jockeys that you're always reading about on television. <laughs> A glass of water? No, thank you. A cup of water? No. A plate of water, then? Thank you. No, just the model. A model of water? <laughs> no, forget the water. I don't want any water. Just the model airplane, and I suppose some glue? Oh, some glue? Then, sir, your son is already a drug jockey! <laughs> Mr. Dalliard and I warned you unbended legs, but would you listen? No. And now look at him. Pardon me? That. What's this? Oh, it's a message bit 119, a fixed for your degenerate junkie of a son, sir. <laughs> but the model's done. So, sir? It's ready assembled. <laughs> well, you can't expect us to do all the work ourselves, sir. The whole joy of modeling lies in carefully scraping off the paint, soaking out the transfers, taking the plane apart piece by piece, putting each of the pieces into a little plastic bag, which is then sealed and placed inside the box. Something to be proud of, an achievement. Strange words in these days of supersonic hedgehog brothers and ready sliced <laughs> golf shots. <laughs> all right, forget it, just forget it. I'll go somewhere else. Mr. Dalliot has a gun trained on you through the curtains. If he takes us one step towards that door, sir, he will, at a word from me, shoot you clean through the head with as much pity as if it were a helpless seal pup called Arnold. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so sorry we couldn't help you, sir. We try to accommodate our customers, but, well, not being a hotel, we find that almost impossible. Yes, well, this hasn't been a very good morning. Oh, good morning? Oh, Mr. Dalliot, we've been activated after all these years! Thank you very much.